Greetings everyone. Welcome back to another tutorial on EFT. Uh, today we are trying to understand the different recording modes in EFT. So generally when you talk about the recording option, UFT comes uh, with a UI and the interface which can really help you to do certain recordings and can allow you to prepare your script. So in the previous tutorials, we have already spoken about the understanding on how the script can be generated. If in case you missed that, then you can, you know, go ahead and look into the playlist to understand more about the previous things, what we spoke about understanding on the script preparation. So today we will be looking at the preparation on the script with help of recording. But before we get into that, what is recording all about? So recording is an option in UFD which basically captures all your event while you are performing them uh, manually on the application. So as you interact with the application, you will perform certain activities. The UFD is enabled in the recording mode. Then it generally captures all those information and object details in the repository and simultaneously prepares your script for the same. On the other side, of course, uh, you know, if you try to elaborate the options in recording, we do have different types of recording in UFT. So generally in the previous version, when you talk about QDB, we had only three options like the default recording mode, the analog recording mode, and following that we had the low level recording mode. But in UFT, right from the 11.5 till today, we do have another one new option added in recording menu, which is inside recording mode. So we'll be having different tutorials, different, uh, you know, you know, separate sessions on each one of them so that we can give equal understanding about each one of them in detail. So let's get started with the first thing here. We are talking about the default recording mode. Of course, uh, we generally, when we record anything in the UFT by default is, you know, we call it as default recording mode because everything gets captured and that's the most recommended uh, recording option in UFT where you generally start recording your scripts and uh, commonly all your activities are captured as a part of your uh, default recording mode. But to a certain extent, when default recording mode fails to capture some of the information uh, which user generally performs in the application, and then we switch to the relevant uh, recording mode, which can help you to prepare the script and assist you with the script preparation. So today we'll be looking into the uh, analog recording mode, which would generally help you to understand what it is all about. So here the script preparation is done in the similar way where you can interact with the application and you deal with, uh, you know, dealing with such activities which are not recognized by the default recording mode. So generally the common operation, what we are taking into consideration today is the drag and drop operation. So when you talk about drag and drop, which is a mouse activity performed by the user on any application is not captured by default recording mode. So we switch to a different recording mode called as analog. Now analog recording mode is capable of capturing uh, the activities which cannot be captured by the default recording mode. So of course, you know, uh, how does it happen? What is that situation? Why default recording mode does not capture these informations? and why analog is the first, uh, why is not not the first priority? Why don't we get started with analog recording mode and all? So all these things will be answers as we proceed further with the hands-on understanding of it. So as of now, keep these questions in your mind and I'll be answering them one after the other in the same sequence. So the sequence of understanding on these things would start with the understanding the problem of default recording mode. Following that, we'll be looking at the solution of the same with help of analog recording mode. And then we will see why don't we record everything in the default record, the analog recording mode. So let's move to the. All right. So oh, as the usual process, you launch your UFT and take up a new uh, test, GUI test here. And just to quickly show you that what exactly the default recording mode is, you can just take up uh, any kind of application on which you can record. And by default, when you click on the record button here is generally the default recording mode. As you click on this, it will ask you for some confirmations. Just press OK for that. We'll be talking about the settings of the recording and replay in the another tutorial. So here, when you practice recording with generally by default, you can see there is a 
default recording mode here which is enabled by default and that's the reason we call it as default recording mode and the other screens are you know the different types of recording are highlighted here so in default recording mode is it's a basic thing which you generally start with and you can capture all the relevant informations uh, but there are certain drawbacks which you can capture as a part of your default recording mode uh, which you cannot you know deal with uh, some other special thing so in case there are certain problems which you face with default recording mode you switch to this specific one which can cater this so let's stop the recording and you can see there's a sample script created for you which we just performed on the application and we entered an agent name as john the password is secured because it is encrypted and then we clicked on ok button and close the application now this is what you call it as default recording mode now let's see what's the drawback we were talking about of the default recording mode that is a drag and drop operation. So let's delete this script and take up another application. Maybe it could be uh, say paint because we do a lot of drag and drop operation here and that could be the best thing to analyze with help of default recordings drawback. So click on recording and as you begin with the recording maybe you know take pencil here and try drawing something and drop. Then maybe you can take certain figures, which you can again use the same operation like drag and drop. Try creating uh, some other symbols as well, which will be like just to create different steps. And maybe you can also take some examples of filling in the colors, which is click based. So pick up a color, drop it here, drop it here, or maybe pick some other colors to make it more beautiful. Maybe you can try <laughs> try with some more good diagrams than me, but I'm just trying to explain you the concept here. So. I just uh, stopped it here. Now I've got certain script which is generated as a part of it. Like you can see that I clicked on the pencil option, I clicked on the shape option, but uh, as you see that it was just till the selections, but the drag and drop coordinates are not captured here. Now just to make sure that whether the script is really working or not, let's take a new one. And if you want, you can save it. If it's really interesting drawing for you, you can do that. Click on run. And as you it is just to uh, declare the temporary result folder. Click on run. And that's all. But I'm not sure. The UFT says that the script execution was done. You know, I could execute whatever instruction you gave. But when we come to the paint, it looks empty. But you see the last option, the paint is selected. So that is what we were talking about and to understand in more detail how we can resolve this issue with help of analog recording. So let's go with solution, which is how to overcome this barrier using analog recording. So let's take up a new paint file again. Let's close the result window for the time being because it should not confuse you when it, the new result pops up again. So click on recording and this time instead of going with default recording mode, let's try with analog. And in analog option, it will first prompt you that whether you want to record relative to the screen or relative to a particular window. Now that is generally to specify whether you are doing uh, analog recording on multiple windows or only limited to a particular window. Now, if you say the first option, it will take the capturing coordinates from your desktop coordinates at the bottom. And if you say some particular window, then the coordinates will be captured as a part of the uh, applications origin so as we are doing only respective to the paint all you can do is click on this window title button and show him the window title by clicking on the ribbon of the application and it will capture automatically the window title start analog recording and then perform the similar activities what you did earlier maybe I'm drawing the same thing just to look into that whether it can do those operations or not And uh, maybe I can try with putting in some colors there. Try with some different colors this time just to have a better contrast when you work. And when you're done with this, all you can do is quickly stop recording. And you see this time, we just got a line here. And I'm not sure like whether it works or not. So let's take up a new file altogether. And then click on the run option. All right, so if you see here, everything is being operated quick, faster, and all the activities what we performed were well done. Let's come to the result, and this time again, it shows that 
the result has been performed the previous was also done and the current run is also done so this is just to make sure that you know the executions what you performed was done but actually we were not capturing any kind of you know information and that's from the analog recording but now the third point what is the drawback of analog so if you remember we just got one line of script here but if you want to do any kind of steps like you know passing the values for different set of data changing the coordinates changing the figures or switching to a different option in paint customizing the script altogether what i mean to say cannot be done in paint or in analog recording mode because it just creates a basically a file which is called as track one and this track one is a kind of video recording on the screen which it just asked you for the window title and with respect to that particular window title it has recorded uh, you know all the activities what you generally perform and has repeated the same activity on the application again so generally it was not object specific it was screen specific so here the properties of the objects the coordinates of the objects doesn't really matter to uft to execute that script and also we have challenges in defining the steps like what activities you want to skip or what activities you want to iterate those things cannot be performed so that's where we you know cannot execute everything in action one uh, in analog recording so you make sure that you only switch to that operation which default fails to understand to be recorded with analog other than that we still recommend you record the entire script in default recording mode and switch to analog only when you default cannot do that job for you so overcoming the drawbacks use it smartly so that analog can give you the best at its own other than that of course we'll be looking at the next tutorial working on the uh, low level recording mode and uh, of course understanding the inside recording mode so for that stay tuned we'll be having a lot of the techniques coming in a lot of other options of uft one after the other and there's a lot of things to go ahead with so in case you like the video of course subscribe to it in case uh, you would like to share it with your friends to help them better to work with uft you can do that so as well as if you have any queries regarding this uh, session or query on uft you can put it on the comment which i can consider in terms of responding you back so go ahead keep looking keep liking keep working and happy learning